What is going on guys, DBG here, and to be fair, I've been a little bit negative on today's packs and today's cards, and to be honest, rightfully so, in my opinion, but uh, there's one card that's gone under the radar. There's one card that's gone really under the radar, so everyone's kind of hyped on this guy right here, who I don't think is great value. I'm going to say it right now, I do not personally believe that Billy Owens is that much better. Why can't I, can you not just find him? He's, a, he's roughly 100k. He's not that much better than Malik Seeley. He's not that much better than Lionel Simmons. I don't believe it. I've used both of these guys. I don't think he's that much better than Simmons. He's better. If you're on current gen, he's definitely better. On next gen, I'm still taking Simmons over him. But I don't think he's enough better. Simmons is a longer wingspan. Billy Owens an inch taller. They're basically the same character. Except Simmons is 6k. Billy Owens is 100k. I refuse to believe he's the best value. However... You guys might have seen this guy right here. Hakeem Warwick. This guy is as good. And I got my one for 15k. 15k I got him for. And I think he's around the 18, 19k mark right now. He's going to go down to the 15k. He's, he's definitely under 20. Um, 18.5. 18.2. I got mine for like 15 point something. But still. Madness. Absolute madness. So let's have a look just the prices. Like today he's at his highest. About an hour after this video goes up. He's probably going to go up to 22, 23k. And he's going to drop to 15k by the end of the weekend. I'm telling you that. I'm almost certain of that. So. We are. Let's take a look at say like 15 to 18k. Which is roughly the price range he's going to be at. The players that you are buying at that range. So let's go 15 point... Or just 15k dead to 19k. If you're looking at these guys right here. Whatever about the new cards, like guys in this price range, you're seeing Westbrooks, you're seeing Ray Allens, you're seeing Lamelo's good, you're seeing Shumpers, Ben, uh, sorry, Dennis Rodman, Derek Jones Jr., Tyrese. Tyrese Halliburton's really good, by the way. Uh, he's not. He shouldn't be in that conversation. But like Hakeem Warwick, he's very similar to Richard Duma, and it's preference who you prefer. It is literally preference. Do you prefer Richard or do you prefer Akeem? Like these guys right here. You got a few extra Hall of Fame badges on Duma. I think release-wise, you have a little better on Duma as well. And he, But you've got extra, a little bit of height on um, Akeem Warwick. Duma better inside and a little bit better shooting-wise. Akeem Warwick has a little better like strength, stamina. I mean, Duma's better at almost everything. Yeah, Richard Duma is kind of the exception, isn't he? <laughs> he really is just the exception. He is just God. But um, no, Akeem Warwick's really, really good. He is really good. So, um, would I advise you guys to buy him or Richard Duma? Um, probably Richard. I definitely think you should buy him. But Warwick's still great. So, Hakeem Warwick. Half catch and shoot, fearless finisher, acrobat, brick wall, heat seeker, lob city finisher, highlight film, chase down artist, box, clamps, hard crusher, intimidator, posterizer, rebound chaser, giant slayer, pro touch, downhill, handles for days, Quick first step, unpluckable. He also got 27 gold badges, including gold interceptor, gold deep threes, gold circus threes, and yeah, just a fantastic card. Decent post token fadeaway, not great though. 84 three ball again with like four general and stuff. You can put any old, or you can put a shoe on him for like 3k. It gives him one up to an 87. Um, and it's still going to be in, in the 90s. 97 driving dunks, incredible. Good ball handling, great defensive stats, really good speed, two ball acceleration, and great lateral quickness, and great rebounding stats. So, for his price, like obviously, he's, he's absolutely elite. But, like, just, he's on no odd zones as, or up around the three, which is a little bit annoying. But one thing he has that Duma doesn't, he's at the pro three behind the back. The best behind the back in the game. Obviously, the guy can curry. It doesn't matter what gen you're on, he can curry. The release is cash. I don't care what anyone says about this release, it's cash. I've been shooting around with it, and base 19, no one knew what base 19 was. But now that we do know, it's a very nice release. Maybe it's not a great release in general, but I'm telling you, I'm very quick. I'm very quick. It is a release that uh, that everyone is... It's a release that everyone is going to like. So, let's have a look here. Oh, yeah. Let's green that. Not great right there by me. But um, dunking, he's really good. Again, great dribbling. And the jump shot is what's really going to make or break this card. And for me, it's in, it's very, very nice. 
Again, I just got to use it a little more. I think I greened like eight or nine in a row and I was just shooting around, messing around with him earlier. And again, the fact that he can play that small forward and he's a decent power forward. Like for Duma, because of his height, I get he had a long wingspan, but being six foot nine, or sorry, being six foot seven, being playing him at power forward isn't great. But the fact you can play this guy here at power forward, he's like better animations, Obi Toppin. He's like better defense, Obi Toppin. Like you're going to be seeing a lot of this guy in squads. I'm telling you, for 15k or there or thereabouts, you're going to be seeing this guy in a lot of people's squads. And you can kind of see why. Like, he's, he's incredible. Yes, he doesn't come a half range. He only comes a gold. But still. But still, it's not like he's got um, no range extender at all, which could be end up being a problem. It's still on gold, so it's still really, really good. And, I mean, the card is just fantastic. So anyway, now it's green with three. And I held... It has a very, unlike, say, um, Darren Jackson Jr., there's a very obvious set point. I just missed it that time. There's a very, very obvious release point in his release, which is really, really good. Now we're going to get onto it. But that's one of the things. Sometimes you can green a bunch with a card, but if your release point for green is, like, way more than it would look at, like, it just becomes visually awkward. And that's a little bit of a case with Darren Jackson Jr. That's the one problem I have with him on this gen. Let's put in a key mark. So we had a key mark... Are we going to go Lamello Ball? And why not? Why not go Hakeem Mark, Lamello Ball, and Bobby Jones? I'm a big fan of that Lamello Ball card as well. Like, I'm a fan of that Lamello Ball card more so than I'm a fan of Hakeem Mark. But those, if you have... Like, you can get those two guys for like 20... For like 25k, you could get... You, see, not 25k. For like 30, 27, 28k, you can get your two power forwards set as those two guys, and you're golden. Bad by me. Okay, he's in a center. Good defense, I think. That's green if he shoots it. Why are we letting him shoot the three? It's done by me. Oh, and he's got the meter as well. I'm telling you, the meter, just the amount of wh more whites you make with the meter than without the meter is crazy. Again, I wish he had a better dribble style, but I guess Slasher will have to do me. Do for now. Okay, good defense there by his Rajan Rondo. Okay, we're good. Just hit him with a few side to sides. Now we got him. Uh, should have him to the basket. Yep, even with the slasher dribble style. That's it, Ankh, there for Hakeem Warwick. All right, let's lock him down, Lamelo. It's Rondo at the end of the day. He's there, we're there. Good defense. He's gonna have to pass. He's, he's boxed, he's boxed, he's boxed, he's boxed. I'm guessing where Rondo is, and I guessed completely wrong. Nice pinch. And a steal, 2K! That is always, always a steal. I don't care what happens there. That is always a steal. Okay, we're good. Let's wait back. That's just bad by me. We're bad. All right. Come on. Warwick, you can cook. You can cook, Vizovic. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's what we need. That is my bad with the release. Let me bail me out. You bailed him out. Bail me out, 2K. He's going to pass. Good defense. Okay. Okay, you kind of half failed me there. So, I can't say we're even, but you can expect the curry. And um, we just completely mess up behind the back. Right to the basket. Hakeem Warwick chased down by Buzovic. All right, that is not great. That is not great at all. All right. Can we get open off that? I think we can. That's green from Akeem Warwick. Let's go. Okay, let's just stay on Rondo. Got me with that speed burst. Steal. We're good. That's good defense. That's great defense. That's just the game being screwing me. There we go. That's a good steal. You read that one, I think. Good defense by him. Yeah, we didn't deserve that make. Okay, we're good. Chase down. Ah, oh, he, he triggered a really good animation. That's not nothing I can do there. He just triggered a really nice animation. No, no, no. What were you doing, Hakeem Mark? Just run by. Run by him. I did not mean to shoot that. I had an open lane to the basket, though, and I just triggered a weird animation. Nothing on the player. That's the game. Run him off. 
Way off. Okay, 2k again. 2k are letting this guy hit everything. I'd be angry. Wide open. Green that. Half decent release. Make that. Come on. So bad. All right. Green that. There we go. Good shot. Okay, 8-7 lead. We've been playing a little bit a little bit longer than I thought to only be 8-7 up, but again, that should have been a steal. Should be green if he's half decent. And he blew it. Behind the back. Into a curry. Crabbed. Oh, that would have been nice. Can he just hit a white? That would be nice. We've had a couple of white on whites that we've missed. But we're not there. I keep thinking we're there on them ones, and we're just not. We should have a layup or dunk. You blew the layup! This game's screwing me. It's nothing to do with the card, because he's got 97 driving dunk. It's literally the game just saying, we don't want to let you dunk. Like, we're not going to give you a contact animation. We're going to make you take a layup. It's nothing to do with the card. It's this garbage game. Green that. Oh, yeah, tie game. Big shot there by Wark. All right, we're still still more than good enough shape. Why, Lamello? I'm clearly guarding him with Akeem Warwick. Why did you? You weren't guarding anyone there, Lamello. You literally just left. You literally guarded nobody while putting giving Vucevic the wide open dunk. Nice dunk there by Warwick. Okay, let's go. Good defense, good defense, good defense. That's a steal! Nothing we can do. Defensive players don't move fast enough. That's green. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah! We're not losing this game. The game can screw me all at once. We're not losing this. That's a terrible shot. Big board. Oh, we got a good animation right there. Trigger the contact this time. Let's go. Let's go. At least this that time we didn't trigger the layup. Like if you trigger a layup, you basically missed. If you you cannot make contested layups in this game, how is how is that not? It's, it's laughable how that's not a steal. We, he literally had two hands on the ball, and the ball went through two of his hands. Should have shot that. I'm still open. And I shot a fade. And we hit a white. Thankfully, the game the game gave me a little bit of luck there, hitting that white to win the game. Yeah, Hakeem Warwick is very, very nice. He's a very, very good card. And... I mean, if we're looking at affordable power forwards, let's just assume Jaron Jackson Jr. is a center. Yes, Lamelo's great. Lamelo's Maybe Lamelo may be better than him. But that's close. I think he's better than Toppin, although Toppin's free. I have to take that into account, but No, I'm I'm all in the Hakeem Warwick hype train. I'm all in the Hakeem Warwick hype train. Hakeem Warwick is He's good, man. He's he's very, very good. Release again once he can get it down, it's cash. Like I wouldn't necessarily use him on current gen because again, no hot zones outside. The only time he has placed these hot zones is the corners, and that's a big problem. Hot zones are a problem on current gen. I wouldn't use um, I wouldn't use any of these cards that came out today on current gen, except for Kirk Heinrich. Heinrich is the best of all these on current gen. I'm telling you right now, Kirk Heinrich is the best of them all. But um, yeah. So that is pretty much it, lads. So let's get him. Where is it? Idols 2. Hakeem Warwick sent to my auctions. And he was like 18 dead, I think. I put him up for 17, 950. Oh, P. Marovich actually could make me a lot of profit on this account. I put him for 12 there, 17, 950. So if his price goes up, look, I haven't. Um, I've sold my own anyway, but at least I'll make my P. Marovich profit. So uh, yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. That is it. That is the video. A really, really nice card. Definitely one of the best um, 
players for his pricing game. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.